Yes, Mrs. Maddox, I completely agree with you. This is a dire situation. I will need to call our manager at the shipping office and have your package hot carded. That way it can be delivered promptly. Can you please hold? Yes. Thank you. This may take a few moments. Please be patient. I used to love reading. It was my girlhood pastime. Like Belle in Beauty and the Beast, I glided through life with my nose buried in a book. When I became an adult, I was so ignorant. I made the only choice that seemed logical. I became an English teacher. This tragic mistake thus began a very slow downward slide into misery. Teaching English for multiple decades made me despise literature. Eventually, I retired. For 10 years, I didn't turn a book. Everything going well, Mrs. Reynolds? Oh, Melissa, just call me Joanne. All right, Joanne. Keep up the good work. 14 months ago, my second husband died and decided to deed everything to the mistress I knew nothing about. I re-entered the workforce and found myself here. I hope to smoke enough cigarettes to leave this world soon. In the meantime, I've decided to return to my roots. Mrs. Maddox? Yes. Thank you for holding. I called our manager, and it took me a few minutes to get through to him, and then I had to wait while he called the driver, but your package has been hot-carded, and you'll be receiving it within the hour. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you so very much. You don't know how important this is for me. I have to get that package today. Thank you for using overnight shipping. Have a great day. You too. I've been waiting five decades to finish this book. I've only got ten pages left. But I'm off the clock now, so it's time to go home.